Okay, so I decided to do a short video here. You know, it's kind of a hot topic right now. A lot of people are asking about putting seat belts in the rear of their 1965 Corvair. So we're doing it here today and I thought I would uh, take a video to show where the holes are. If you look, this is on the passenger side and if you see that hole there, it's just up to the right of the, uh, this, you know, the bracket for the for your trailing arm there, that piece. So there's actually a small divot there already. If you find it, you that's where the hole is. And I'll just come around the side here. And the hole comes out right, right there. See there? So that's that one. And then the other holes you put in right about here. So we came over, I think it was two and a half inches from the center of that uh, right here. I just measured from the center of this rib. Center of this rib over two and a half inches. Right there's your hole. That's about three and a half from here to here and the same on that side so we're also going by this these instructions here so we're going by these instructions and also uh, I've got a 1966 over here a 66 that we are using as a template because it the 66s, as you know, did come with seat belts, so we're using that car as a reference, and we're using this uh, instruction sheet as well. Now, come around to the driver's side, and you'll see the trailing arm here, and this, the brackets that hold it on, the two bolts, now just up a teeny bit and over to the left, left side of the car, you'll see where we drilled right there okay and likewise there is a divot you'll find it there already on the 65s and then inside the car you'll see where it comes out right there see the hole so and then that's the the other hole there. Anyways, because there's a lot of people nowadays asking about putting seat belts in the back of their 1965, that's uh, that's how we did it. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.